Brown School District Board of Directors regular monthly meeting of April 10th, 2017. But again, if you stand with us for a moment of reflection and followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Burdell. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Close. Here. Ms. Lowe. Here. Dr. Lobby. Here. Mr. Mulroy. Here. Mr. Rarick. Mr. Skate. Here. Ms. Walker. Here. The Board of School Directors of Armstrong School District convened an executive session on Monday, April 10th at 7 o'clock p.m. in the faculty lounge of West Hills Intermediate School in Catani for discussion of student confidentiality. reports this evening uh, um, we had the uh, Lenape JOC meeting was on March 16th a um, couple of things from there the uh, LPN program the uh, Lenape class of, in February that just started here in February there were 24 <coughs> students and then in March uh, the Newcastle campus had 21 students so they were real excited about that and of course they're projecting into 2000 uh, into the December into 2018 they look like they've been pretty full classes and the other thing that came out there, other than just regular business things, um, they did uh, accept, uh, or we voted to accept the Perkins post-secondary grant for practical nursing, about $135,000, so roughly there. And then at Aaron, which was um, on the 21st of March, there really was kind of just business as usual. There wasn't much else going on other than, uh, or I mean, just business and, and personnel items other than the, uh, Annual convention is next week on Tuesday at the uh, Purchase Line School. So, with that, but that was it. Okay. Uh, central office reports. No other reports. Public comments on agenda item this evening. We have a request, uh, speaker this evening, Mr. Henry Commodore. Over 300 kids in my household. And each 
someone who likes the world or lives the world back, it has nothing to do with them. Bob will change the people, the wrong kind. And I want to put these in the school. They want to put them in the school to do business. Where well, I found the dean of people who did school for 35 years, I had all the discipline there. You see, the person was messed up, I straightened it up. The loving kind. It makes a lot of difference. I was just talking to some people in Pittsburgh. We have a big thing in Pittsburgh. They just said we've got a lot of things here in Fort City. We're not from Fort City. Bernie's from Fort City. But we want to start it here first. They wanted it in Pittsburgh. They wanted it in New Jersey. I said, no, I'm going back to my roots, where I'm at first, to see what the story is here first. Because everybody wants love and kindness in the school, the preschool, kindergarten, first grade, at the top, with the school board. Superintendent, teachers, want to wear your t-shirt if you don't want to love. Not do you want to be on board, or are you on board? You don't have to be on board, but who doesn't accept love, love and kindness? All these people in this room, who in this town, said that I haven't had any negativity from anyone. None. So I was in Cleveland Clinic, I played ball with Blake, uh, uh, Blake Griffin's father. Me and him played together in college. And I've been making the score 29.9 games. And I've been calling up the sports of the We've got the NBA and NBA. I've been all over. My agent, Marty Blake, uh, he just died two years ago. His son is the thing. He's the uh, agent now in Atlanta, Georgia. They've got all those guys on board. Now, that's the thing. What happens here is right. When you have another time, it starts from the top. It looks good all over. But these kids see the teachers wearing these t-shirts, you see the principal wearing these t-shirts and showing that love and kindness. Because what happens is when you treat kids, if they need some glasses, you give them some glasses, you understand it, because you talk to them. Individuals, this is like a special education teacher, talk to each other individual, knows what they need. We gotta put that in the schools for preschool. We gotta have guidance counselors in preschool so they understand that so in junior high school you won't have all these problems. Because in junior high school, they have a lot of problems. But we got to start there first, preschool, kindergarten, first grade. This is to understand each other with love and kindness, understand why you look different, act different, whatever, but we're all one. For the family, we're all one with love and kindness. So I, like I, talk, I talked to the uh, superintendent about these. We gave some team shirts for the principal and everything like that. We the teachers to work with the school board around. And I want to see what kids have to say first. I hate it. You know, Duke Kinston wants it, Pittsburgh wants it, but we're from here first. We want to like the tech, we want to like the fire here in Captain Court all over the world with love and kindness. How that looks, how that acts. Not, not, not play the part, not talk about it, be about it, and show it. Show these people out here where we come from. We want to show these people where me and Bernie come from. We're good friends. So we love each other. It takes a it takes a family to raise a child, a town to raise a child. That's why we were raised up in Fort City, Catania, or whatever, Doug Trinkle, and all those guys right here. We, we, even though we were rivals, we were best of friends. Terry Thompson and all them, they helped us along the way. Somebody helped you get where you were last today. You didn't get there by yourself. And they got you there with love and kindness from their hearts. But what the school district, I mean, he'll tell you, we were a family, am I right or wrong? That's the way it should be. You don't get upset because somebody does something wrong. You think about it. And wisdom, wisdom is that you know right and wrong. And you, when you do something wrong, and people mess up all the time, there's not anybody that you have messed up, period. But you humble yourself. And when you humble yourself, you start to cry, and that cleanses you. And you start all over again, following your own spirit, doing the right thing. That's why you stand up for yourself. It's not the board. It's not it's you individually with love and kindness. Those teachers grabbing those kids and talking to them and understanding it. The principal, the superintendent, everybody. And you know what happens? When you all join together as one as a family with love and kindness, everybody looks at that. Because what can you say? With love and kindness, you have talking to your parents and kids. A lot of parents don't understand that, because they never have. But when you're trying to help them, talk to their kids and the parents say, look here, we want help from you. We want to help your kids. We want to call them in for counseling at early age. Talk to them. What can they be helping? Do they need glasses? Do they need shoes? Do they need clothes? A lot of people don't even know what these kids even need. Because 
they never talked to him. Maybe that's my teacher. Have you talked to this kid? This year, maybe one and a half. You never talked to him? Look at the crazy. It's right here. I'm a specialist at it. I know. I raised over 300 kids in my household. When they came to me, they were taking D's and F's and everything like that. Me and my wife adopted four children. 11, 9, 10, 11. They came to me making D's and F's. You know what they're making now? All of them high on them. Because I switched the, the change from the different situations. They had somebody to treat them with loving kindness. They had the brain. But they didn't feel the heart. When somebody loves you and cares for you, you feel it. And you want to do the right. You want to do the right thing. But they can tell if you really care about it. But I can't tell. That makes a difference. But the main thing I want to talk to you about is this. When fantastic people are sitting there and talk about this, they love it. They gave it to the principal. I want to know how the board feels about it. Because I would like to start here. Me and Bernie would like to start here. Me and him are family. Me and him are together with this situation. We want love and kindness right here. Here's where I would start. And we got to start someplace else. Which we're going to do that too. But we want to start here first. And let the people see how we operate. We want to like the fire here and pass the torch to New Kensington, pass the torch to Pittsburgh, pass the torch to all over, all over the world, for all one. We don't want violence. These people over here don't want violence across the, bar, across the water in here. They don't want violence over there. They love their kids just like we love ours. <coughs> they want kindness too, loving kindness, to do the right thing. When you mess up, you humble yourself and do the right thing. We all mess up. It's not one of us that mess up. When you start all over, Anybody can tell you anything, anybody, anything. But when you show that love and affection, it's like a baby shows you that love and affection, he can't talk, but he shows you how much he loves you. You can see him loving you. A dog can't talk, but he greets you every day. He shows you that love. That's the kind of love we want to show. We don't want to talk, don't talk about it, be about it. That's the love we want to portray in our school, in our family, in our area, all over. That's the love. If you can't get it, it's okay. But you know what? You got to deal with that. You be on board. You're not, I didn't ask to be on board. You be on board, you're not on board. But that's the call of mind. The love and kind. Not any kind of love. Love and kind. Not any kind of faith. Focus on faith. That's the story. Make the sacrifice. It's called conviction. You know inside of yourself a conviction. That you try me to motivate people in the right direction. And that's what I love about this whole situation. We're all together as one. The Tammy, we're all seated together as one. We made a good transaction there for all of these kids to love one another for the time. And this has done a fantastic job with it. And I'm proud of it. That makes a difference. Period. Well, thanks for your support with that. And you know, I, I think you got, you're on the right track there with, with everything. And I, I think you've already met with the uh, administration yeah. here. And, uh, we want to put these in the schools, we'll work with the teachers and everything like that. Show these people, parents and stuff, with love and kindness. That's nothing to do with God. Just treat people the way you want to be treated with love and kindness. They took God out of the school. We want, we want to bring love and kindness in the school. <coughs> That's nothing to do with religion. Just treat people with respect, love and kindness, and treat them the way you want to be treated, but love and kindness. That's the bottom line for you. It answers itself. No one can be negative towards that. No one. It speaks for itself. Is there something we need to do next for to when things like implement you know, anything? Or? Or? Oh, we got no. some t-shirts already for the principals. I like to talk to the principals and everything like that. We have a program called the youth program with the youth and everything like that. We've been doing it for a long time. I've taken over two hundred fifty thousand dollars of my own money. We've given eighty nine tax credits to turn to away. You see you might see me on T V channel two, you might see me on channel eleven. This is what I've been doing for a long time. I've raised over three hundred kids in my household in Richburg, four cities. I started in four cities, taking care of kids and everything like that. We've got a ton of people on board for another time, we've got athletes on board. So why not? And Bernie, he's fantastic too. He drew these t shirts up. I told him how I wanted them and everything like that. And he drew them up. And it's all 
one. No. But really, we're all one in the blood. You know that, don't you? Huh? I, if I can give you my liver, you can give me yours. We might look different, act <laughs> different, or whatever. We all one in the family. People don't understand that they really get it together. <coughs> if I can give you my arm, your shoulder, my hip, whatever. That makes a difference. As a family, for loving kindness, that's the bottom line. That's what we want to show. The kids need to see this so they can show their families this. At an early age, preschool, summer preschool, kindergarten, first grade. So when they get to be kids, when they're in junior high school, they won't have to go to high school. Junior high school. We solve the problems down here. We filter it out. We got most of the students because they got loving kindness. In. They felt it from the teachers. They felt it from the superintendent. They felt it from the board. They felt it from the kids around them. They felt it from their parents. The parents feel love, so we counsel them and help them out too. What do you need? What kind of help? Thing. I appreciate the process here. And like I said before, I'd like to start right here in my hometown in Vernon, right here. And we've got a lot of things going on. And just like I said, I just talked to the congressman down here, sir. We have a big thing, maybe 20 years down there. We got some things here, unfortunately, already. But we think the church is going to go real big. I talked to uh, uh, Chief Up in Cleveland, uh, Hargrove. I went to college with him, Mike Hargrove. He's on board. All the guys are on board. Blake Griffin, he and his dad played basketball together in college. Like all the guys on board. Everybody's on board. But you know what? If you ain't on board with loving kindness, no problem. Not that you want to be on board, or are you on board? All right, we'll be in touch with the superintendent on what, uh, what the next you know, step may next be. The next step implementation. And I'd like to get this thing to early. You know, so continue, this, you know, this year. <coughs> So they see what's going on here. So they can see four city high schools, four city districts, the county, all of us together as one, and join together as one for loving kindness. So they can see it. Put in the paper so they can see that the board's on board for loving kindness of all of us for doing the right thing. Helping these kids, helping them. They have a problem, come and see so you can help them for loving kindness. That's what we want to see. That's what other people want to see. Before city and the county got together all in one word, they said, yes, it can work. For loving kindness, for this change. When you messed up before, humble yourself and bring it together for loving kindness. Everybody messes up sometimes. But humble yourself and bring it together for the right thing, for the children, for the family, for what's right. So these kids can continue on and help their kids do the right thing, help their families do the right thing. So they'll remember this board for a long time. It's just the one instituted this by the right stimulus to motivate these kids in the right direction. Everybody won't get it. You know what? If they don't get it, they'll remember it. So it's just loud and kind to of people who are going to be on this. That's the bottom line. They're making this the black, white, green, purple, blue. They're making a difference. Just treat people the way you want to be treated. Love and kindness. That speaks for itself. That speaks for the rainbow. Love and kindness. We're all one. Well, thank you, and we we'll look forward to thank you. hearing what you come back with. Great program. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. That's a fantastic thing. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That's the story. Now, these school boards, they step up that you are in the They got a beautiful thing in the school. Huh? Yeah. That's what they need. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We're going to get back to contact with me. We're going to start this progress right away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God I come from Fort City High School. Because they raised us. We took a family and raised a child. Yep. Family. With love and kindness. Okay, he's entertained a motion of second for approval of the minutes from the special meeting of March 2nd. Caucus meeting of March 9th and the regular meeting of March 13th. So moved. Mr. Mulway and Mr. Bedell. Roll call, please. Go. 
Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Skate? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent, motion carried. Well, under bills have the food service fund from March, athletic fund for February, and the presentation of bills for payment from March. Motion and second for approval of those bills. Mr. Johnson? Any second? Dr. Lobby? Any questions on the bills? Any of those categories? Roll call, please. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carried. <coughs> Personnel items one through 14, with the exception of eight, 13, and 14, which are for information only. Motion and second for approval of those personnel. Dr. Lobby, Mr. Johnson. Roll call, please. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. Education items one through four. Motion and second for approval of those four education items. Uh, Ms. Lowe, for the second. <coughs> Burdell. Further questions on those four education items? Roll call, please. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Chauncey? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes, on one, two, and three, no, four. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Uh, education four, number voting yes, seven, number voting no, one, one absent, motion carries. The remainder? Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. Uh, business items one through five. Motion, uh, motion and second for approval. Mr. Mulroy, with a second. second. Mr. Burdell. Questions on those business items? Roll call, please. Mr. Burdell. Yes. Mr. Chauncey? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. One construction item. Motion and second for approval. Mr. Chauncey, for the second. Second. Mr. Mulroy. Further questions on the construction item? Roll call, please. Mr. Chauncey? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. Student Transportation Services. Uh, approval of uh, bus driver list. Motion and second for approval. Ms. Walker, I'll be second. Ms. Lowe. Roll call, please. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. Policy items one through five. Motion and second for approval of those policy items. Ms. Lowe? Second. Dr. Lobby? Questions or additional comments on those policy items? No, not since our works are open caucus, nothing different. Roll call, please. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Chauncey? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. General items one and two, the 2016-17 uh, school calendar amendment along with Gen 2 and 2017-18 school calendar amendment. Motion and second for approval of those. Mrs. Walker. Uh, Mr. Scaife. Any questions on that realignment? Roll call, please. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Burdell? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Close? Yes. Ms. Lowe? Yes. Number voting yes, eight. Number voting no, zero. One absent. Motion carries. Uh, anything uh, informational folder wise? No additional items. Anything from board members? Uh, all I'd like to say is that uh, you know, recently the West Yorkton girls basketball team had a pretty successful run in the PIAA playoffs, and I'd just like to mention at our board meeting, and uh, uh, I thought it was great. I attended probably five or six, uh, five of those games, and went to Holiday's Bird and all over and watched them, and the crowd of Long Long Lincoln was pretty awesome. 
awesome. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was a great event. And, you know, kudos to the district itself for supporting those girls. I mean, I saw guys from people from the county, Fort City, and all over watching those, those te team play. And they were, it was a good team. And, I mean, uh, they, they played uh, together as a team. I mean, it was a, a great thing to watch them too. They, ne they never. They never got down, they just kept on coming. So uh, congratulations to those girls and uh, to the district too. I mean, it was, it was great. People at North Allegheny said, where's West Jamoke? <laughs> 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 it's Armstrong County, come visit us. Yeah, it's, uh, so. uh, it's great to see that success, you know, and I think as board members and we're here doing what we do and that, you know, that success is evident and, uh, you know, that pays off. And it's great to see the kids in those roles like that. Academically or sports-wise, They made the final four in their classification. They were the only public school left. The other three that were left were privates. That's just a lot of hard work. Anyone, uh, anyone else? Entertain a motion and second for adjournment. Motion. Uh, Mr. Bernal, 